Hi, this is Ross Buecher from Control My Nikon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use a robotic sensor to trigger the shutter. And in this example we're using Fidget's robotic sensors, and these are standard electronic sensors connected to an interface board. And the interface board is connected via USB to your computer. And you can download drivers for these and then plug in these different sensors to the interface board. And Control My Nikon allows you to plug in the sensor to port 0 of the board and then monitor the input from that sensor and when a certain threshold has been crossed it will trigger the shutter. This whole rig here of the interface board and several sensors costs about $150. If you need to use a different type of robotic sensors and not the Fidgets brand, then you could still use that hardware and create your own software to interface to it and then send Windows messages to Control My Nikon to trigger the shutter and within the help within Control My Nikon there's a section for external control where it describes how to do that. Well let's take a look at how we can configure this sensor to trigger the shutter. So I have my Nikon D7000 here and I'm just going to connect to it and then I'll go up to triggers and over to fidgets. And then it gives you a warning, just reminding you to ensure that the fidgets work properly before you attempt to use it in Control My Icon. And that just makes the troubleshooting a little bit easier. The fidgets come with an application that allow you to see the sensor readings from the interface board. Now if that's all working, then you could try it in Control My Icon. And here's the window where we'll set it all up. Now I have an infrared sensor connected to the interface board. It's one of those sensors where it transmits some infrared and then if an infrared bounces off of something it will trigger the sensor. So I'm going to move my hand in front of it right now and you can see that it's capturing the movement. So what we can do here is we can set up the sensitivity and we can also invert it. So what I'll do here is move my hand over it and as I move my hand over it we could see how the sensitivity changes. So because in this type of sensor it's essentially always on what we can do is we could tell it to invert so when the level drops to a certain level it will trigger so if I move my hand over it slowly here you can see that the level drops and then my hands then moving over it it comes back up so I'll say sensor invert and bring the level back down here and then when I move my hand over it it brings it low enough that it would trigger Okay, now all we need to do is set the action. And I'm going to set the reset value to about 10 seconds here. That ensures that it doesn't repeatedly trigger from the sensor inputs. And I'll set it to shoot. And it's going to use whatever settings I have up here. And then I'll set it to enable. Okay, and we'll also enable the interface board. So now it is monitoring. And I'm actually going to go back down here and just disable the action. And if you watch here, it'll say if it has detected enough sensor input to trigger it. And there it says threshold exceeded input triggering. Okay, now if we enable the action, it'll actually take the shot. So and it'll find the reset after 10 seconds. And it's waiting for another input. So I'll enable it here. Then I'll move my hand over it. And now it captures our image waits 10 seconds and it's ready to go again so I'll move my hand over it and it captures 
And we had some other options here. We can also tell it to capture video. So if I go down to video, it'll ask how many seconds of video, and I'll say five seconds, but I'll crank this up a little bit higher so it has enough time to transfer the video. And it's monitoring the input, so I'll transfer. So I'll move my hand over. And it tells us that we need to have live view up to be able to do this. Okay, and that is a requirement on the Nikon. So I'll just close this, bring up live view, and then try to trigger it by moving my hand over. There we go, now it's recording. It should record for five seconds. And it'll transfer the file. Then it'll wait 15 seconds to reset. Now these sensors come in different flavors. There is a motion sensor like I've just tried here, this temperature sensor or voltage sensors, humidity sensors, and even vibration and pressure sensors. So you can use these to try to monitor the environment. And once they're triggered, you just take a picture or a video. So very simple to use. That's it. That's how you use fidget triggers in Control by Nikon to capture an image. Happy tethering.